Hey guys, it's Ramsey here. In this short video, I wanted to demonstrate just one of the ways you can apply an edible image to some of your decorated cookies to kind of achieve that Polaroid cookie look in your sets if that's what you're going for. There's so many different ways you can do this, so this is just the way I decide to do it um, that's easiest for me. So I've had this rectangular shaped cookie cutter from Kaleida Cuts a while now, and it's what I use when I want to punch out those Polaroid shapes. This is four and a half by three inches, but as you can see, I like to trim a little bit off the bottom, maybe an inch or so um, to give me that Polaroid shape. And here, these are sugar sheets with an edible image printed on them. I actually had a vendor print them for me because I don't own an edible printer or an eddy. So I went with um, a sugar sheet printer who uh, printed these off when I get, after I gave her some dimensions. So here, what I'm doing, I'm taking some, this is about toothpaste consistency icing here. Um, and I'm just scraping a, a very thin base layer over the cookie where I want the image to lay. And you can see me here, I'm trimming off um, the excess white area around the um, edible image that I don't need. And then I just peel off the backer and I line it up along um, the toothpaste icing that I scraped, how I want it to lay and display in the Polaroid area. I lay it down and I gently, very, very gently tap it around all corners um, and in the middle of it a little bit so that I can adhere the edible image to the cookie. After that step, um, that's when I go and make the actual Polaroid outline. I'm using toothpaste consistency outline um, or icing to outline with here. And I'm just slightly um, lining the edges of the cookie. And then in, in a second, you're gonna see me go over um, the actual ed edible image just a hair and that's going to help it for sure stick to your cookie even that much better. Now you will see some people flood the entire cookie base first and then they might use some um, piping gel or something like that brushed onto the dried flooded base and then they'll stick their edible image on top of that. That's totally fine, um, but for me, when I want to go back and do the, the portion, the step that I'm doing right here on top of that flooded base, it just gives um, an extra layer of icing, so it almost becomes too much icing for my taste. But um, if, if you don't mind that, it's, it's totally an acceptable way to apply this cookie um, or the edible image in that form as well but I like to do it this way so it's not so much icing in the bite. Um, and it gives that um, Polaroid area that I'm filling in right now just a little bit more of a dimensional effect. So after I outlined it, you just saw me flood in the area I outlined and I used um, kind of a little bit more of a thick flood there, not a thin flood um, to fill in these areas because I'm trying to prevent it from cratering as much as I can on those sides, which sometimes is hard to prevent. But I just use my scribe to go in and, um, you know, distribute the icing, the flooded icing that I put into the outlined areas. And now I'm using my scribe to just kind of straighten up the area um, a little bit so that it's straighter on the edges instead of you know the icing falling off on the sides. So at this point in the process, you'll just set it to the side and let it dry fully. And then you have the option of taking maybe an edible pen and adding in a caption at the bottom of the Polaroid to finish off that look. I hope this helped. Thank y'all so much for watching.